I think the most important question, sir, since we have a limited period of time that I want to make sure we address directly and immediately is, did you kill your ex-wife, Carol Kennedy? I did not kill Carol. I loved her. I not only had loved her for half of my life, but I admired her as a person, as a mother, as an artist, and I was grateful to her for all she'd given me in my life. The prosecution has said that your motive was money. What's your response to that? The theory that I killed Carol for money is nonsense for two reasons. One is we proved that I was not in any financial distress the way the prosecution claimed. I had a formidable income. It was rising. My business prospects were excellent. I, I had no financial distress at the time, but just as importantly, Carol and I had been separated amicably and cooperatively for over four years, and during that entire time, I had been voluntarily providing her with between seven and $12,000 a month in support. I paid all of her bills. I didn't even take her off our joint account. I just... I supported her voluntarily. But are, but are you saying that uh, there was no uh, contention, no battle between the two of you over money uh, for the divorce? Well, of course. Of course. During a divorce, that it, when it came down to the final settlement, that we were arguing back and forth over the, over the details, the terms of the divorce. Can you take me back to the moment that you were in the courtroom and the verdict was read? Oh, <laughs> I was stunned. I was afraid, of course. There were never any guarantees. It was so difficult to imagine that 12 people could look at that evidence, both the lack of evidence about me and the evidence that pointed elsewhere, and come up with a, a verdict beyond a reasonable doubt. Standing there before the world, being accused of and now convicted of something so horrible that you would you'd never even contemplate let alone do and now the world thinks that i did it